What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D, and you're watching Fina Tame No Filter. Travel anxiety, also. Um, I have a flight tomorrow at. I couldn't even tell you. I have to ask Moose. I think it's at 2, 3, or 3.30. But I have a really, really, really big meeting at noon. So I'm like, and I hear that this meeting is going long for about an hour. So I'm like, do I just wake up super early, get ready, go to the airport early, do the meeting there from 12 to 1, so that I'm already at the airport? Or do I just risk it, cut the meeting short at 1, and then go to the airport. But I also haven't packed yet. I decided to take a nap. I was like, I'll take a nap, then wake up and pack. Like, what sense does that make, you guys? That's it. Bye. Sasha was stuck in the airport for a long time, but she eventually made it there. So let's fast forward to that moment when she made it. Hi, guys. After eight hours, I made it to Canada. She made it, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Yay! As you can see, Cache wasn't the only one having issues with her flights. Even Taylor wrote, This flight has been delayed five times. Will we make it to Canada today? Question mark. So, as you heard Cache earlier, after eight hours, well, it was worse for Taylor and Joseph, but they made it there. So, let's get to their content. I will be mixing it up between Cache, Taylor, Joseph, Claire, DX, and Moose, and everybody else. The Q&A due to her delayed flight will be added at the end of the video. Do not worry, everyone. I am here backstage at the Big Brother Canada house, and I'm going to break in and make sure that the live feeds are 24-7 just for you. <laughs> Taylor is going to enjoy her time in the mountain if I ever get there of the mountain she did make it to the mountain now the video play in the background is taylor basically plugging the big brother additions and all of that it already happened so there's no need to play the audio and it's the lesson hill claire's crushing it keep the squad keep the squad keep the squad ramen time sleepy time ramen time <laughs> Bye. Hey, I'm alive, baby. Hey, you, hey, you looking for a lesson? <laughs> hey, chill, chill. <laughs> All right, which one are we taking? That one or that one? Um, you want to go down there? Yeah, let's do that one. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Pizza. Pizza. As you can see, they went bowling, but they're playing copyrights music in the background, so that's why I'm not playing the original audio. Brought back the fuzzy hat, and guess what? Hey! Wait, 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 wait. wait. Joseph! Oh. Fuzzy hat. Oh! Okay. okay. <laughs> He's so left out. <laughs> yeah, he is left wait, out. Wait, wait, wait. He's gonna make his mini vlogs and play. Ah! Yeah, I know what you You're right, yeah. like, I totally get it, like, you're right, but at the same time, like, nah. Yeah, exactly. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. It's delicious. <laughs> like clockwork, baby. Every year, we out here. Let's go! Oh, no, no! Foul! No. 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 I saw Xander push her! Get him! Get him! Push him! Push him! Push him! Push him! Yes, Taylor! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Go, go, go. go Claire, next, go! Okay, okay, okay. Woo! Oh. Ah. Alright, we have finished skiing. In survived. We survived. Can you see these gorgeous, oh, gorgeous skiing, mountains? Oh my, we were ice skating, not skiing. That's at a later yeah, date yeah. and time. But now... Hi, man! We have these adorable little goodies from the brew. And Beth, yeah, thanks so much, guys! That's what your ass get. Uh, yeah.
Yeah, 30s, bitch. It's cold as shit here. <laughs> oh, that kind of hurt. Add some context. So while the rest of the country is freezing, Joseph is in Florida. He's always, you know, driving with his top down, you know, shirtless on the beach. All of this like nice and beautiful weather while people are freezing. So basically, Xavier is laughing at him because he's in Canada and he's finally getting to experience the cold compared to every time people complain that they're freezing. He will post, oh, well, in Florida today, it's in the 80s. As you can see, they are drinking, having a great time. Gecko's cash, okay. And basically got some goodie bags, okay, come through. And yes, yeah, so it looks like Moose is having a great time for his birthday, being around his close friends. Hey, Happy birthday, dear Moose. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Moose. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, everyone just So now Steakhouse is for us. Is what it's called. Ooh, for what? For your birthday dinner? Steakhouse. It's posted and he wrote, Everyone, please go roast cash for this extra mm -hmm, b-day performance so yeah she wasn't being ignored they just used to her shenanigans and they were like you know what there goes cash being cash but yeah she is hilarious <laughs> so um <laughs> come to canada yeah. hockey <laughs> typical <laughs> Look, you can. I can feel it. Just <laughs> right, jumping was stupid because I fell through here. <laughs> oh, damn it. Stop, watch shit, don't never stop. <laughs> Why are you holding my wig like that? Oh. <laughs> hey. Bestie, hold your wig after the class. Okay, give me her. <laughs> Kesha did put together a beautiful recap of their trip and other trips that she's been taking. I have a separate video coming up on Cash because she was very transparent a few days ago. But yeah, it looks like they had an amazing time and Kesha is always a vibe. That's one thing about her. You don't have to worry about that room being boring if she's in that room. She is everything and it's such a light okay it's not even forced she's not desperately trying to be the center of attention that's just who she naturally is and that's the reason why all of these amazing people continue to gravitate towards her and the narrative that other people try to put out there but her did not work and is not working she survived and i'm here for it i'm here <laughs> for her beautiful friendships and connection and just everything that is going on in her life and moose wrote carrying her on my back emotionally and physically Kesha responded that's bestie for life now that the trip is over i'm going to include other content from taylor and joseph everything else Kesha related and probably one other video from cash but the rest i'm going to do a separate video on Kesha. I just counted the amount of days that I've been home during February and it was a total of five days. And I am run down. Like, I feel so, it just, it's like a bad head cold, but I feel like hot and gross. My lips are chapped. The back of my throat is sore. I have no energy. Thankfully, I should be in Michigan for most of March but also who knows because I thought that February was going to be a slow month until things picked up once the Grammys hit so you know let this be a lesson take it easy on yourself make sure you have every precaution in line so that when you are really busy you don't wear yourself out because baby I'm tired my favorite part about not feeling well I've been sick ever since I came back from uh, Canada um, 
is the junk food I order for myself. Um, let's look what I just got. Okay, so everybody always talks about stickies. So I ordered fingers and fries with all the dipping sauces. And if you know me, I don't drink juice ever, but I decided to try this little sticky soda. Yum. The dress that I've been dying to wear, but I also have this really simple little black dress that I've worn a few times, but I love it. And I also have to send it back to my stylist soon, like Monday, Monday soon. So I kind of want to get one more wear out of her. So I don't know. Help me decide what I'm going to wear to brunch this morning, and then we'll see the results. Oh my god, my mirror is so dirty. Okay, well anyway, so the black dress won, so I'll be wearing that. And I'm also going to add it with these Bradley Mishka shoes that they gifted me when I was at Fashion Week. Um, I have to take this one press-on nail off because I have not been able to update my press-ons. And I have to hurry up and get out the door because it's like, it's been time for me to go. Okay, see you later, bye! Alright, hashtag Taylor is a liar. I decided to wear boots instead. And I'm throwing this coat on in my, I think this cute little bag. Um, so yeah, now it's time to go. And now I'm like, here I go again running late. Okay, I'll get better. I made my own bouquet of flowers and- Am I a florist? No, but they smell really good. <laughs> That's all that matters. It's <laughs> the effort that counts. So I wrapped up with the Pistons this morning and honestly, like, I'm so, so happy that I was invited to this women empowerment brunch. It was so fun and I met amazing women, mostly Detroiters, uh, who were just like doing some really cool things around the city. So very, very excited for the opportunity to meet and network with all of them. And I cannot wait until I do the next fun thing with the Pistons, which is happening very soon. But that's not my dilemma. I'm out running errands. I'm doing a bunch of things now. And I just remembered that I have a smart TV that I like can't really figure out I'm working on it but the thing that I really can't figure out is how I can like me screen mirror screen screen mirror from my laptop or my phone onto the TV so it's a Samsung smart TV I don't know if any of you have one but is there like is there an app that I should get should I get a fire stick should I get a, a Google Chrome extension like I don't know Chromecast I don't if you don't have the answer to this please help me out like I've decided to simply give up on the quest of understanding my desire to stream, I I don't know, I can just pull up every app already. I just want to like project what's on my laptop to my computer or whatever, what's on my laptop to my TV, geez, Taylor. Um, but I don't want to buy like a Chrome whatever or a Fire Stick. Again, you can literally see the outline of this filter. This is ridiculous. Uh, but I don't want to buy an Apple TV just so I can project all this stuff because I already have access to all the apps. So, I don't know. It is what it is. Okay, I will admit, it took me a while to figure out how to utilize subscriptions in a way that felt sustainable and honest to me. And I finally figured it out. I am doing daily diary entries over there. So if you want a very unfiltered, candid perspective on what my day-to-day -day life is looking like, I'm literally going in numerical order. I think today is day 66 out of 365. So if you want daily diary entries, hit up my subscriptions. I think we're finally working. You guys will have to let me know because meta instagram they don't like to give me straight answers on what's really going on here but i think we're in the clear and i am finally using it in a way that's not going to get me in trouble anymore so if you are interested in my daily unfiltered stream of consciousness hit up my subscriptions you've got your lives that are exclusive to subscribers you've got the daily entries and then of course i kind of use like the messaging service as a personal twitter so hit me up and if that link didn't work i really have like I don't have the answer this way. I don't know how it's already the afternoon, but it's already one o'clock. So here I am. Finally put a face on, put a little bit of a top on. I am still wearing sweatpants, <laughs> but it's time for me to already start packing for LA. I will be there tomorrow. I am so excited to get back to like sunshine and good weather. I hope it, I hope it's still sunshine and good weather. I heard there was snow there. I don't know. But yeah, here we go. Happy afternoon. I hope you all are having a happy, what day is it? Tuesday? Tuesday. Enjoy your Tuesday.
my la trip already happened so i will do a separate video on that the last two videos are older content but i want to post in it because it had some cute jailer moments that i didn't get to post red flag in a significant other my biggest red flag is emotional immaturity it's a big red flag lack of confidence or if they're not my current girlfriend taylor hale i am six feet tall with a fat bank account a fine ass supportive gorgeous boyfriend go off queen keep going Mwah. Gang, right yeah not the bank account coming before the boyfriend though <laughs> no i but no but you're right you're right baby though that money yeah yeah you're right what money did you say out. what did you say whenever i try some money on you you go oh, no invest your money baby <laughs> yeah you're damn right <laughs> Last part is for all of the people who keeps behaving like this man is not from a well-off family and that he's not doing well for himself and a whole attorney out here. For the, oh, he's just with Taylor for the clout and her money and all of that, Joseph is doing his thing on his own. I'm wishing all of you well and take care. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times. And seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.